its founders. We have before us the opportunity to forge for ourselves and for future generations a new world order, a world where the rule of law, not the law of the jungle, or the jungle, or the jungle. You'll soon have a new option on Amazon for in-home, same-day delivery. The company on Wednesday introduced a new in-home shipping service called Amazon Key. That's right, using an Amazon-built security camera called the Cloud Cam, a smart door lock, and mobile app, an Amazon delivery worker will be able to place packages just inside your door. The new service should cut down on porch pirates stealing packages and boxes getting soaked in bad weather. Here's how it works. After you've set up your address for in-home delivery and order an item on Amazon, a delivery worker shows up with your package and uses an app to unlock the door. She just cracks open the door and slides the package in, then uses the app to lock the door again. You get notified of the delivery and get a video recording of the package being dropped off. Using the new Amazon Key app, you could also let in guests, a dog walker, or house cleaner too. A kit to set up Amazon Key starts at $250 and includes a free installation. The service will only be available in 37 areas in the U.S. when it launches early next month. The Cloud Cam will also be available as a standalone security camera priced at $120. The device offers 1080 resolution, night vision, two-way audio, and a 24-7 live stream. Plus, it includes an Alexa integration, so you can check out your live stream using an Echo Show or a few other devices. The law of the jungle governs the conduct of nations. When we are successful, and we will be. When Lumacorp finishes gaining centralized control of the resources of the planet, and we will. We have a real chance at this new world order, an order in which a credible United Nations can use its peacekeeping role to fulfill the promise and vision of the UN's founders. Perhaps our greatest achievement in banking is the Federal Reserve System. It is a collection of international banks owned by Illumicorp members and financiers. It was created to form a centralized banking system through the Federal Reserve Act of 1913, an act that was indeed penned by some of our most esteemed members. Many of you might still assume that the government itself prints and issues the currency. That is not the case. When America needs money, they go to our boys and ask for it. The money is printed, but it is only representative of a loan. Interest accrues on that dollar until it is paid back to the Fed. In fact, the federal taxes paid by the American population go almost entirely to paying off this debt. So you see, Illumicorp derives a healthy amount of its operation funding directly from the debt of the public. Needless to say, this is one of our most crucial sources of funding and one of our proudest achievements here at Illumicorp. Through mergers and acquisitions, we have slowly and silently bought up the majority of U.S. industry. Illumicorp and its members own most of the oil, transport, banking, media, food and communications industries in America and abroad. Through fewer and fewer conglomerates, we are able to affect with great precision the machinations of labor and government. Ultimately, corporations will replace government as a centralized international body that can meet the needs of the public worldwide without the chaos created by national self-interest. When Illumicorp goes public, corporatism will be the foundation for world government. Conglomerates will merge into one cohesive corporation that is responsible only to Illumicorp and the needs of its global employment force. The Church of Jesus Christ is largely sleeping like a great bedroom. And you have all the Christians in bed and they're all sleeping. And they're saying, please, don't wake me up. I want to sleep off. And of course, when the God starts to operate a revival, people cannot sleep. You can't sleep in church, but the Spirit of God awakes the people. Look at the first verse of this 52nd chapter. Awake! Awake! Put on strength! Wake it up, you sleepy Christians! Awake, all that sleepers! Awake! 